episode four, where we actually complete our journey across the country and back. Uh, in this episode, <laughs> we actually stopped and camped at a casino, and then we had uh, Uranus and the Double J. So two nights. Everywhere we stayed and the attractions that we stopped at were all on the uh, current Route 66, or as it's currently known as I-40, so on our way back. So that was part of the fun. We were able to slow down a little bit after rushing to get to California so fast. And so uh, we had some fun stops. It was new to us to stay at a casino and they couldn't have been nicer. And the casino we stayed at had a particular attraction. Yes. And I'm hoping that I'm getting better at this. You know, the, the editing has been a lot of fun. The uh, exploration of other YouTubers and how they do things. We're enjoying it. Well, let us know how I'm doing. <laughs> Comment down below. And if you do like it, go, don't forget to like and subscribe. And ring that bell so you know when I drop a new video. We do have quite a few more coming up. This just happens to be the capstone of this trip. Yes. Sit back, relax. Casino. RV parking is on asphalt. It's level with electric and water. And we were told there are wild buffalo roaming the casino grounds. It didn't take long and we found them. The earth buffalo. What about it? Bison, commonly referred to as buffalo, are only a distant relative. Almost hunted to extinction, they have begun a rebound. Stephanie loves exploring the rest areas, and this one had a food truck. I've never seen that before. And the food was good. And here's your anus. No trip along 44 would be complete unless you stop in your anus. <laughs> I mean, you just can't say anything that's not funny without saying Uranus. Uranus, Missouri on Historic Route 66 is a family fun destination located in the beautiful Ozarks in South Central Missouri between St. Louis and Springfield on Interstate 44 and Historic Route 66. If you're driving through, you'll have to explore Uranus. They have a multitude of attractions to include a Uranus Fudge Factory and General Store. The best fudge comes from Uranus. Very cool how they depict the Route 66 from Illinois to California. buy a brick fundraiser <laughs> look at the comments on the bricks it's very uh, adult <laughs> stick a brick in your ring that's the guy who started this whole thing after poking around uranus for a while we headed on to the Double J Campground in Chatham, Illinois, just south of Springfield. Good morning. I'm going to catch you up today. It's Friday, March 18th. 
and we spent the night at a Double J campground located uh, just south of Springfield, Illinois in Chatham, Illinois. A uh, wonderful campground, full amenities, a little pricey, 50 bucks, but I'll bet you during uh, full season it's a wonderful place. I apologize for the flickering, I'm still trying to figure out how to get the LED flicker to go away. Uh, we skipped the day, so Wednesday night we ended up pulling into the Downstream Casino uh, at Three Corners where Kansas, Oklahoma, and Missouri come together. Uh, read about it online, decided to try and take advantage of it. We had power, which is really all we needed because I have water in the freshwater tank. And it's $30 on a website. Uh, when we checked in, they said 35, didn't matter. But they had a unique thing that if you sign up for the Players Club, you get a night free. And if each adult signs up for the Players Club, they get a night free. Uh, Stephanie, we saved her in case we travel down there again. So we spent the night for free, gave them a junk email address, Players Club, good to go. Uh, we did take advantage of their buffet, which was fantastic. Uh, always continuous fresh food coming out, even uh, as we got there, it was about an hour till close. Uh, casino, you, they do allow smoking inside on the floor, but they had pretty good air exchangers. Uh, campground was quiet. Uh, there were only six or eight units there out of over a hundred spaces. Uh, they do have free camping with no hookups for the casino as well, which is an option for your boondockers. Uh, but due to our battery issue, we needed the power. So anyway, we traveled yesterday. Uh, wind was battling us. That made it a little hairy. But we pulled into uh, Chatham, Illinois. Met with uh, my battle buddy from Iraq, Matthew Lawson. Had a good time catching up. I haven't seen him since November. And today will be the final leg. We are heading into Wisconsin, uh, where we're gonna return to the dealership. We'll drop the unit off, because as you know from the incident where the pin box jumped out of the uh, hitch, we need to have an inspection of the pin box and the, uh, the uh, nose cap, just to ensure everything is good. We've been towing for over 2,000 miles since the incident, so I don't expect much there. I think the tailgate and the bed rails of the truck took most of the brunt. Uh, I'll be dropping the truck off tomorrow for an estimate, and then Sunday I execute orders. I'll be in Florida for two weeks. But uh, that's where we're at right now. So we are doing not just a travel day, but also a pack day. We have to get the refrigerator freezer emptied out. Any essentials that uh, we may need while the trailers at the dealership have to go with us. So it's gonna be a full morning. I will see you when we get to the dealership. Safe travels. Steve and Steph here with Chris at Cunez RV. We're picking up our Alliance Par Paradigm 385FL. It's going to be great. <laughs> you guys got to come down and check them out. You ought to also check out Chris's uh, channel. I'll post a link for it below. See you guys around. So we suffered some abrasion, of course, to the uh, nose underneath where it landed on the bed cap. And we'll have to replace both nose cap seals all the way around. When the pin box slammed into my tailgate, of course the cover for the electrical connections broke off, leaving them exposed. And my tailgate will have to be replaced as well as the bed cover rails. And the hitch is good to go. If you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time, Chasing the Chins.